our next guest here as we ent enter ever further into the deep night is an actor, director, and writer. Um, very, very funny person, too. She's been in TV shows like The Middle and Anger Management and the horror movie The Haunt. Skylar Helford is here. Skylar! Coming. Hey! Ah, there you are. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Have you been channeling rage while you're sitting there? Kind of, I've been drinking water. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay, too. I'm covering. Have you found on Zoom, do you cover your face? Do I cover my face? Well, I just, I feel like I sometimes have to put a tab in front of my face on Zoom because I feel like I'm looking like, oh. Oh, no. I have a lot of conversations where I'm just looking longingly into my own eyes. Well, that's good, too. <laughs> yes, I'm going to have to put a mirror next to my phone if I ever make calls again. I'll miss it. I'll miss my <laughs> face. So much time with yourself. Yes. Speaking yeah. of time with yourself, you're out there in Los Angeles. I am coming yes. to you from my bed. Yep. Yeah. Oh well, okay. Yeah. And I know uh, it's appropriate now with Zoom and everything. It's like, can I? I think it's okay. I think it's bedtime is okay. Yeah. What are rooms? <laughs> what are they? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I hope you're not quarantined with anyone that drives you crazy. You have a good support system there. I'm good. Yes. I'm very. I'm doing well. I have this guest bedroom that I am in, and it's it's really nice. It's like my just my place for everything. I sit here so often in this one spot. It's become very comfortable. So yeah, you're you're not hiding a twin anywhere. I'm not any twin. After watching that, I was like, God, I wish so badly that I had a twin with Max and Nikki. I mean, yeah. ugh, I feel like everything. I don't know. I feel like I'm so awkward so often, and I get to, and like if you had a twin, you just have someone to bounce off of all the time. I'm very <laughs> yeah. I might not cure the awkward part, but. <laughs> It'd just be two of you uh, <laughs> listening to video game music. But um, now I'm an only child. I don't know if that's clear. It's not clear. It's not clear. <laughs> well, I am. Um, now, uh, there's a, a lot of scary stuff in the world right now. And I sat down to watch this movie that you're in. Uh, the Haunt, is that what it's called? Haunt, yes. Just Haunt. Is it the or just? It's just Haunt. Just Haunt. There yeah. can be multiple hunts. And as I understand it correctly, forgive me if I botch what this mo movie is about, but uh, it's some kind of psychological haunted house that preys on uh, individuals, kind of a tailored, customized haunted house to your specific psychological condition. Yes. And if you are afraid of X, it's going to magnify that. Correct. And, and your character's uh, fear was spiders, mm -hmm. but Just your love uh, was, was uh, dressing like a flapper. Yes, and I had to dye my hair blonde for it. Uh huh. And so, I know from experience, as someone who enjoys a lot of fringe, that fringe and spiders do not mix. Do not mix. No. And I don't know if uh, on my Instagram, there's I had to work with these huge uh, garden orb spiders. Um, and there was a woman who flew out, came from Burbank. She's like the insect woman to go to. Mm -hmm. So she was great. But I had to have a spider crawling all up on my face and my hair. It's a terrifying day. It was huge. But was okay. Fun. Do you know that? I don't know a lot about showbiz. Do, do you, did you know that going in? I thought it was going to be CGI, to be perfectly honest. I was, and then I was told, oh, we're just going to put a spider on your arm. I'm like, all right. I'm not in love with it, but it's on my arm. I can control that, I guess. Um, and then I kind of got dared. It was kind of like, <laughs> the directors are fantastic. They're amazing. They were like, if we put it on our face, will you put it on your face? And I was like, oh boy. And then everyone started putting it on their face. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have to put it on my face. And so I did. And to be honest, the shot was incredible. So I guess it was worth it. So oh, dedicated to your craft. I'll tell you, <laughs> tell yeah, you that. Yeah, it was quite, quite the occasion. I would say that I would rather have a huge one on my face than a bunch of small ones. Cause at least I knew where it was constantly. So. Fair enough. Are they a deadly spider? No. And a lot of them were very lethargic. I don't know what, I think they have to be, like if they're too fast or anything, then they're put away. They, they only put the really tired ones on you. I am so butchering that, but I think they were, <laughs> I think they were tired. Oh, to be a tired spider in Hollywood. Um, what's your worst fear in real life? My worst fear. One I was thinking about recently, oh boy, I, if, 
an earthquake while I'm on the toilet was, it's not my biggest fear, but I was thinking about that recently. I was like, what do, what, what do you do? Like, do you take the time to wipe? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that happened to me. That happened to me. Did it? Yeah, in San Francisco, in Oakland, actually, when I lived there. Uh, that I felt an earthquake while I was, you know, do, doing the business. And it's just, it's a frightening situation. What, was, what choice did you make? I got out of there. I had to pull up, you know, pull up and get out. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you've lived my fear. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I think you just got to go. Yeah. I would also say uh, living through a global pandemic with little or no national leadership would also be a fear, but that's a fear. But that's we're going kind of 2020, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yesterday's news. Mm -hmm. um, you were also in a, in a show that you made called Indoor Z. Yes, Indoor Z. And who knew it's so relevant now? It's kind of right. crazy. Yeah, yeah about, about people that the kid go outside, agoraphobic people. Agoraphobics, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I didn't catch on. It's about three agoraphobics who like move in together and open a day spa in their apartment. But yeah, it's kind of. I'm not sure it's so relatable, but it's fun. But now it seems like it would be a reality show. No, there's a bit in it where um, because they're opening this day spa, they have a bunch of uh, treadmills and, and workout equipment. And it, there's one part where they like put sushi on the treadmill and make like a sushi conveyor belt thing at like Yo Sushi. It's like, I should, I don't have a treadmill here, but that I should be as creative in my own quarantine as they were. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a good uh, project to do. Now, uh, do you feel like you predicted the future? Do you feel, do you have psychic abilities yourself? Yeah, possibly. Possibly. It feels like it, right? Yeah. Yes, I would say, it does. I say yes to that. Yeah. Does it manifest in any other way throughout your life? No. I, it's always the opposite of what I think is going to happen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But you're, you're holding up during this time. Are you somebody that can, I know LA is a little different from some of the other places, but have you been productive? Have you been able to work on things? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of writing, um, started a lot of books. I'm a really, I'm not a great finisher, but I'm an awesome starter. Um, I've been playing some Nintendo 64. I'm giving my dad, my dad's been, I've been giving my dad a lot of haircuts, which is, we, we've done the quarantine thing and everything. And he's been asking for a lot of, like, I don't know how often you need a haircut. And also my dad's hair is like, he's got the, like, you know, just a little bit of hair in here. He's got the Homer Simpson, like three hairs up here. Yeah. And he keeps asking for haircuts. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what it, I'm like. He asked me for a haircut. I was like, which one do you want me to cut? I don't know how often they can be. <laughs> <laughs> well, his, his issue is that he's picked a, a, a funny length because that length requires a lot of maintenance. Yeah, so it's true. it's true. They're a little like scruff because, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't had my, I did a cut before we went in. Just, I don't know why I did dentist eyes and haircut just by chance. Uh -huh. I had those all taken care of. But yeah. now it's really, it's growing uh, in every direction. And, uh, but I, I, I could make that choice that he's making, uh, but I haven't on, on account of just how much I would have to have. The, is he there with you too, or he comes in no, as a drive situation? I go over to his place and Okay, help. all right. Because yeah. they're gonna start place. opening those up. In LA, things are starting to open up, which is <laughs> crazy. Yes, now we have something else in common, uh, is the fact that uh, you love Mr. Bean. Dude, I love Mr. Bean, yes. Okay. <laughs> Now, what is it about our dear Mr. Bean? Sorry? What is it about Mr. Bean that really gets I've been you? Watching it ever since I was so little on the VHS and everything. And it just, oh God, just the slapstick. And it's just every time it gets me. And in my senior year of, uh, actually, junior year of college, I decided, I think I didn't get into the, um, I didn't get into the, school show that year or something like that. And I was like, I'm just going to do a one woman show where I, play Mr. Bean because I can control that and uh and it was so fun got like I just had posters all around college of me dressed up as Mr. Bean and doing the and uh it went very well I love Mr. Bean <laughs> is there anything funnier than him packing a suitcase there is nothing funnier ever no <laughs> anything as funny as it at all <laughs> oh yes I'm often just walking around doing the like <laughs> go ahead my boyfriend hates it. <laughs> now, have, have things changed for you acting wise in this time? Uh, are we going to have shows again or are we just going to doom to watch everything on uh, Zoom uh, table reads? I mean, 
It's crazy. I mean, I've been, I've actually transitioned mainly to writing. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that. And I got an opportunity to be writing on this, uh, to be helping out with this show, this new Fox sitcom. So that's been, I've actually had a really great opportunity to be like, have structure within all this. Cause I've been on Zoom like 10 to five every day. Um, so that's been really cool. Yeah. But I think I, Zoom is so fucking awkward, but I do think that people are doing really cool, innovative things with it right now. And it's really intriguing. My, um, my old college bard, um, they just put on this really amazing production. Uh, when they found out that the pandemic was happening, whatever, they transitioned their school show to be on Zoom. And they just did this incredible production where um, they just used really creative ways of everyone was at home and in doing their screens, but they've created this amazing, these Zoom backgrounds um, and worked with video editors and they were live editing through, is it, is Adora, I think the program's called. Um, and, and you know, like just doing very, very cool things of like passing something to another person, the other person has a prop and just, uh, I think it's actually a really interesting time for theater and like Zoom work. Yes, and I gather there's gonna be more drone footage, lots of drones. Yeah. Yeah. Are you scared of the drones, Skylar? No, I think I wanna get a drone. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah. If it was a drone piloted by you, I would be reassured. But otherwise, I fear the robots. Yes, exactly. Well, even exactly for Indoorsy, we had we shot this amazing drone footage, and it like right at the it was going so well, and then right at the end, <laughs> um, the cinematographer just like was just trying to return it to his device, and uh, just it ran straight into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, uh, Skylar, this has been so great to talk to you. Um, I, I hope that you uh, stay safe and you're able to get some real great haircuts uh, in. And, uh, Keep cutting mine every day. I'm just cutting my bangs every single day. Uh, you got to get lower maintenance haircuts. Exactly. Yeah. It's just the way. Well, creativity is, is uh, finding itself out there. So that's terrific. And uh, uh, thank you for uh, all of your great work. And we'll see you in whatever's next. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Skylar.